Hi, I'm Alex Ineco and this is Ekai's Musical Encyclopedia. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, please. Today's word is cabaletta. Cabaletta um, is a, it was a famous type of opera, of a famous type of aria in the first half of the 19th century, okay? Actually, to be more elegant, in the second quarter of the 19th century. Think of Rossini, Donizetti, Bellini, Verdi. Um, the Cavaletta, there's these two possible, at least two possible origins for this word. The first one is um, cobolo or cobolo from the Italian that means couplets, okay, or pair. Um, and this is probably because of the fact that the cavaletta is divided in two. Actually, the cavaletta is the second part of an aria that has a, a, a more cantabile part and then the cavaletta, which is more woo, upbeat. And because of this upbeat uh, feeling comes the second possible origin of this word, cavallo, which in Italian, old Italian, meant Cava horse, okay, I'm going Portuguese here, it means horse, so it's like a gallop, okay, gallop, or something like that. Um, the famous cabaletas, I have my, my little piece of paper here, famous cabaletas, so that you know exactly what I'm talking about, 1817 Rossini, Cenerentola, the Cinderella, okay, non più me, sta, ta, Cabaletta. Okay, this aria was also this cabaletta was stolen from himself from the Barbara Seville. It's the tenor aria, the third tenor aria from the the Barbara Seville. Rarely done, but it's the same melody. Then we have uh, Spargi d'Amaro Pianto from Lucia di Lammermoor, 1838, Donizetti. Spargi d'Amaro Pianto, pom 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 pira wa la ra ra wa pam pam pa wi pa pa ra wa i pa ra pa pam 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 okay, the end of the aria, okay? And then we have two Verdi cavalettas, okay? Oh, both from 1853, because the guy really wrote a lot between 51 and 53. Uh, and in 53, he wrote, Trovatore di quella pira l'orrendo fuoco. Okay, from Trovatore di quella pira, the tenor cavaletta. And then from 53, 1853, also La Traviata, Sempre di gioia gioia, poche score, etc., etc. Violetta gets crazy on stage and she went, she goes crazy and she sings Sempre Libera, always free. Free women in the 19th century were not well seen, she had to die, and it happened. So the Cavaletta is this kind of gallop-like, kind of fasty-paced uh, melody in the end of the 19th century, first first half of 19th century Italian art opera, okay? Cavaletta! 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 Have you subscribed to the channel? Please do so.